Howdy doody boys and girls, Brad here, and I am doing a little something different now. What I'm I'm starting a little a little side project uh, besides my normal let's plays, which I will continue to do. What I'm doing here is doing what I call let's watch me play Yoshi's Island, because what we're doing is we're let's playing the game, but it's already pre-recorded. So this is post commentary rather than commentating as I play. So we are both watching me play the game and I'm just gonna talk. Have a good time. What I'm gonna do is these old games like this that hold a place in my heart, a dear place in my heart. I'm gonna do this with these because these are the games that I don't want to be talking while I'm doing them. I don't want to be getting frustrated at while I'm commentating. I just want to do them and have a good damn time doing it. And what I have a good time doing is playing a game and just having fun with it. Um, I don't have to want to have to worry about about the recording stopping or or something like that. I don't ha I don't want to have to worry about that crap. So what we're doing is watching my gameplay, and I have not played this game in a long time. And so I do f fail a little bit, but I do remember quite a bit actually about the game that I could not believe I did. I'm not doing a 100% perfect run of the game. I'm just doing a run, a casual run, a run that I did when I was getting home from school in the fifth grade and, and just wanted to have a good time. That's the point of this. I have 100% of this game a hundred times, I guarantee you. Um, you know, back when I was a kid, I didn't have many games to play. I had to choose, and this is the one I chose, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. Any Mario game you choose is probably not going to be a bad choice. So whenever it was a chance to play a new game, most of the time it would be a Mario game. Yoshi's Island, in my opinion, probably one of the best games, Mario games ever made, in my opinion. Uh... I say one of the best because you can't really, you just can't do it. You can't pick one. Now here is my first fail, and I decided to keep it in because I, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I cannot hit this fucking flower for anything. Then this was me warming up my aim, and after this, after this initial set of videos, I went, I went back in and I kind of practiced my aim a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. But uh, as for right now, this is where it stands, and I finally get it. As you'll see later, though, my aim does uh, j does get quite a bit better, so we won't have to worry about that very much. But um, another thing about this is that uh, half of the time I was playing, I was being interrupted. I was talking to someone else. Somebody was probably sitting next to me talking about something. Right now I'm working on a logo for a production company called... Well, I won't say the name right here because they may not want me to do that. But... Uh, You'll probably never hear of them, but once they get their name out there and get the product made, if they do, <laughs> I can tell you. But anyway, so that's why a lot of the times you're going to see me do some shit that I'm not even going to know what I was doing at the time. Maybe like running into a wall and not stopping or just sitting paused. And I went through and I tried to find all the times that I did that and cut them out. But sometimes you can't. Sometimes you don't find the... Uh, you don't find some parts. I mean, this this run lasted me about four hours just because stuff like this. Like, I went in there, I knew what was down there. I was just, just for nostalgic effect, and then I didn't do that on purpose. That was a fuck up. But for nostalgic purposes, I ran back down there. <clears throat> and um, just, to, just to remember. And it was insane how just playing these, these games, I don't know if you've ever heard a song or, or, or smelled a scent that brought back a memory, but... Certain parts of these games, like this, this memory just rushed back to me, and I would remember playing this game. I remember what was going on at the time, and oh, I just it brought back such a good feeling to me to be playing this game. So I decided to start the game over and hit the record button and just record for a while. And it, I, I was just gonna put it on my channel just for my own personal benefit. But hey, to somebody who hasn't played this game and you you're not going to play this game, but you'd like to watch somebody play it, hey, enjoy it. It's fun. Uh, if this is what you like to do. I mean, I enjoy watching a Let's Play every now and then, and also like to play the game. So let's get into the gameplay a little bit. We're just, we just finished the first level, which there's really not much to talk about there. 
uh, in the first place because it's just a standard level. It's pretty much <clears throat> getting you accustomed to the game. Now this level, I mean, imagine, you, which if you can, if you're as old as I am, imagine like back in the day when, when the NES was around and you had, all you had was just 2D graphics, there was not much to them, and then you plop this thing in and it literally looks like something you drew in kindergarten. Well, it looks better than that, but I mean it looks like something you might have colored in kindergarten. Like a pastel or something. And then you see these these chain chomps jumping out at you. And in this 3D world, it just blew my mind. It was amazing to me. And I really enjoyed it. I mean, this is probably... This, this game right here, I could play this game forever and not get tired of it. As I have said many a time now, I need to shut the fuck up and let's just watch the game. Okay, let's watch the game. So here we get to do the, one of the one of the cool things in this game that's turn into a helicopter. You can turn into many things in this game. This is one of the ones I can tolerate. There is one though that I absolutely hate. I I loathe ever getting that that transformation, and that one will be coming up shortly. Uh, these blocks right here, self-explanatory. You hit them, they turn big, so you can jump up and get stuff. Pretty much all there is to it. Pretty much all there is to it. And then here, we've got these shy guys that that rappel down with their little flying hats. And they'll normally be carrying something. And these one-ups, I... For some reason, I'm drawn to the one-ups. I have to get them every single time. I just, like... I see it, I'm like, it's mine. It's mine. Uh, so here we're going to the third level. And as you can tell, the Yoshi colors change per level. So each level there's a different colored Yoshi, and they go in a certain order. I don't remember the exact order. I remember purple is the last one, and green is the first one. However, for the last world, in with Bowser's castle, the purple one is gone, and the green Yoshi gets the spotlight. And we'll get to that later. But this is the Chomp Rock. This is the introduction to that thing. And basically, that's the Chomp Rock. That can be pushed through enemies. It can also be used to uh, to mull over enemies. Like if you've got uh, if you got red noses, I think that's what they're called, in front of you, you can't actually jump on them or kill them with a with a uh, egg. So you actually just push that rock into them. And sometimes, and one later level, the rock is necessary to get to certain places, and it's also necessary to even complete a level. Uh, so, most of the time you can tell, either the special ones will be about a gold color, but I think in one level later it's not, it's actually, it stays a gray. And something I, because I was talking all kinds of bullshit at first, basically, you eat an enemy, or the majority of enemies in the game, you push the down button, and you shoot an egg out, and that egg can be used to throw at anything. You can throw it at, uh, enemies, you can throw it at, uh, little question mark clouds which will spew random shit out of it. Uh, the stars, the stars are actually a, uh, that little counter in the corner when when Mario gets knocked off the back, it's pretty much a timer as to how long it's going to take for the enemy to get to Mario and carry him away. And you'll have to excuse me, I've forgotten the names of these enemies and stuff, so uh, just bear with me on that. If you Hey, if you know the enemy names, post them in the comments for people who haven't played the game, because I'm sure they'd like to know those those names. Um, Milds, Marching Milds, I, I, I think that that may be their name, because uh, that's what I always called them, because that's what the boss's name that looks like one is. And then there's Koopas, and there's some Goombas in the game, and the Shy Guys, there's Shy Guys right there. Um, and those are piranha plants, obviously. I never see him. Every time I played the game, I always just ran past him. What they do is they shrink, and then, <laughs> see, I almost did it again. They shrink, and then when you get close to them, they explode, and the size, they, they get bigger. And, uh, that's what she said. And, uh, then they swallow you up. And when they do, you lose your eggs, well, they fall on the ground, and Mario goes flying off your ass, so you gotta be careful with, uh, with where you're running. But, uh, so, yeah. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm commentating 30 minutes of gameplay, and then I'm stopping. But since YouTube's a bitch, I'm gonna be uploading those 30 minutes into three parts. So, that's how that's gonna work. I'm using Cam Studio to record the gameplay. 
and there are certain parts in this game that I've had to record a multiple of six times, and we'll get to that when we get there. We don't want to think about that right now, because we're going to be in a happy place when we're playing our good game. That's, that's where we want.